Hello everybody, we're going to be covering the new DLC for Space Engineers today, that is Contact. We're going to be focusing mostly on the blocks today. Uh, we'll be trying to integrate some of the encounters in our own series though, so you'll find out more over the course of time. So in the small grid blocks we have quite a few little uh, little treats here for our small grid ships. We're, I've called it all these blue, so if they do start fly, floating away we know which ones are which. Um, we have a new bunk, so your small grid ships can now have somewhere to sleep and lie down. Got a medical cabinet, so we can have our own little cabinet on the wall for med kits. Uh, we've got a microwave, I've put two of these in here for some reason. And with the oven we are really cooking. So uh, what kitchens complete without a refrigerator? So we have a fridge. I think that's upside down. I have no idea, it's not very clear. Um, and we have a coffee dispenser. So we can build a full, a full kitchen here with microwave, oven, coffee dispenser, fridge, medical cabinet and then have a little bedroom to one side. So these are all the new things that we've got for small grid. In large grid, we have a new captain's desk with storage. So it actually has drawers and a little computer on it, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we have a new square piston. It's the same as the other pistons, but it's square. Okay, we also have a couple of new gates. So we've got a small sort of squarish gate. Now this is actually two gates put together. So one gate is one half of this. It can go any way up you want. But if you put the two together, you get a perfect square window. And you can see how you can get a small grid ship through there if it's like a little shuttle. But if you've got something bigger that you want to get through a larger hole, then we have the new wide gate, which again, if you put two together, you end up with a big square, but it's much larger. So you could either use that for like a, a wide door, or you could use it for a large hangar if you put two together and group them. Wonderful. Now you've probably noticed the, the floodlights around here. So there's a whole array of different types of floodlight we can have and they're all angled. So you've got left and right angled here. We've got middle angled pointing sort of down into the front and then we have straight on ones. So these are sort of like spotlights, but uh, you know, we've got, we can build like a little studio here, which is great. Or you could use that to light up maybe a cargo area um, or anything else you really fancy. We have new bridge components here. So I've built this whole section here out of all the new blocks. There are others, so plenty more corners and things. Uh, but you can put these together in any way you want. Uh, I've kind of come up with some sort of a novel window thing. But within all of this, we've got button panels built in. We've got a pilot seat. I've got a co-pilot and a pilot seat on here just because I stupidly went for even symmetry on this build. I threw this together last minute. Um, so yeah, that, that kind of makes things a little more interesting. You can now have your pilot seat right up against the window, or you could use that for a small shuttle. Okay, now for the moment you've all been waiting for the prototech components. So let's get outside and go to our little demonstration platform. So we have an array of prototech stuff on here, and we're going to say prototech a lot, so I'm just going to call it proto just for short. But uh, start with, we have the new gyro. We've got two of these back to back here. They are attachable from all six sides of the block, unlike the old gyro, which was only attachable from the bottom. And you can see visually that it's actually a moving part. So that's looks a lot better than the old ones. I love the gold trim on all of these proto components. Um, this is pretty impressive. Uh, the strength of these gyros is much greater than the old ones. We'll demonstrate that shortly. We have the new proto battery. It takes up about the space of two batteries, two ordinary warfare batteries. It has an 18 megawatt hour uh, capacity as opposed to the old three. So for the space of two ordinary batteries, this thing has a much greater capacity, so much better space saving. And the output on them is, is just greater. We have the new jump drive, which takes up the same space as the old jump drive, just it kind of goes sideways if you want it to look like it's forward to back. Uh, has the same kinds of indicators on there. Looks really cool. Has a brand new effect, which I'll be demonstrating later on, and has a much greater range. These two will give the ship, a, I think, a 12,000 kilometer range. So absolutely immense. We have the new assembler, sort of new proto assembler. You need these to be able to make prototype blocks from scratch using prototype frames and prototype components. 
uh, you will be able to get those from new POIs within the world, so new uh, encounters. Uh, those you'll be able to get new blocks from like whole if you want to take one of these as it is in one piece or you'd be able to actually get components from cargo containers prototype scrap as well which you can then refine using the new proto refinery this refinery um it, it's going to be a much better refinery than the old ones it doesn't have upgrade parts on it but i don't think you're going to need them so between these you'd be able to actually produce your own prototype blocks given enough time and enough scavenging we also have a new drill so this proto drill um it, it takes up the space of nine normal drills however it's much faster than the usual nine drill con configuration uh, it has a lower capacity but it's really good for tunnel boring i've gone and overkill and fill four of these on here to see how quickly we can fill four of these large cargo containers so we'll show that off later on and lastly but not least we have the new ion thruster, so the new proto ion thruster. It's absolutely immense. You need a lot of space to put one of these in, but chances are one of these are more than enough. I've gone and put four on again, going completely overkill. You can see the new flame effects on here and we'll be demonstrating those right now. Let's see what these thrusters look like. Holy heck. That is insane and we're going to check our speed so we're going to see how quickly we can get to 100 with these oh that is actually faster than hydrogen thrusters okay that's insane now we're turning a ship that's like 1.2 million kilograms with just two gyros so, right, what we're going to do is we're going to see what the jump drives look like. Okay, so we're just going to say jump. We're going to jump the max distance and just, just so we can see what this looks like. Now, we've seen teasers of this in one of the teaser videos. So, let's get an actual look at this. We're going to jump a full 12,000 kilometers. It's the first I've ever jumped in one go before. Oh, wow. That is gritty. That is very impressive. Now they've made some UI changes on here. So first to note, if I just get out of here. The menus down here have changed now, so they've categorized and submenued these. So you'll find the DLC blocks all under DLC. So don't think that the um, control and all of these there is uh, DLC they're not these are the DLCs over there so this has changed it's, it's much easier to find what you're looking for and as we saw in here some of the namings changed on these as well right so we're coming in quite close to this asteroid here And after I've done this, I've got to start filming the next episode of Permadeath. So be sure to check that out. I don't think we're going to get too far with any prototype stuff um, in the next few episodes because we've got to figure out how all of this works, um, how you get like the blueprints or the, the frames to do it. But, you know, with the new encounters that they're bringing into the game, I think that's going to be just going to add something to this challenge. So a lot more sounds certainly become more visceral okay they look quite neat right let's see what the right click radius is like on these pretty standard Okay, let's just see how quickly we can fill our cargo up. Is something on fire or is that just the drills? I've probably broken a thruster, I think. Yeah, we've burnt a thruster up. Okay, that's fine. This has got to be the ugliest ship I've ever built. So if you've got a ship that's 
kind of roundish and put this at the end of it, you could have a perfect tunneling machine. Don't put your thrusters really close to the drills though, like I just did. Right, let's check our inventory, see how full our cargo is. Full, 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 full. Yeah, we've already filled it. That was barely any time at all. We filled four large cargoes. So these drills will make strip mining an absolute doddle. And with that explosion, uh, we're going to jump out of here and then call it quits for this demonstration. And we'll catch you for the next cool thing that comes out or come and watch me on my series.